Hello, and welcome back to Factorio Atlantis. Uh, I've lost the timer I used to make sure I don't overrun, so let's see if we can get that back. Yep, okay. So it had just disappeared itself. All right. Um, so, while you've been away, I've done a little bit of work. Um, I've made sure that we have Roboport coverage. Um, our diamond is built. The only thing left to do is put the corner on east. That's blueprinted down, so that will happen soon. Um, I've also been playing around with these bl blasting charges, and they do quite a good job of taking out land. Now, I'm not sure how effective they are from map view, and I think this needs checking. So let's find some, this is some land which we definitely do not need. Um, turn that off. Okay. Ooh, we can make a sized one of these. So that's now all map marked for being blown up. Uh, I don't want to do the platforms. However, I do want to do the whole of this island. Wow. Okay. So, is there any more in here? No, I think that's it. Okay, so let's have a look. Ooh, we have some bots traveling. Yep. These appear to just be construction bots. These are carrying the charges. All right. So let's find out what actually happens. Cheers. I'm quite excited by this. The idea of clearing land. I guess this is more aquaforming than terraforming. Um, I think this is a very cute idea. So in case you didn't get it, I installed the blasting mo mod um, that lets you blow up land to reveal water. We are we're on a water world with these sporadic islands, and I thought it would be a really cute idea if whenever we've finished with land, or we're not using land, we returned it back to water. And look, here we are. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. Okay. So, we've made this whole patch of Scraggy Island disappear. Poor fish. Having their ears hurt. Boom, boom, boom. Unfortunately, we're too far away to hear it. But, um, right. Well... That's very cute. So I'm I'm definitely going to go around just blowing up all the land which isn't being used. Um, I, I want to end up with a situation where we only have platforms or land that's being used for mining. So we will eventually just have water, platforms, and land with mining on. But that is so cool. I am a fan of this. Okay, um, right, back to the other things. So, um, I've been going backs and forwards uh, with um, design for production science and I'd got into a bit of analysis paralysis type situation. We designed various bits of the build. So here is one, this is our rails. Okay, we had designed electric furnaces, which didn't quite fit into a single square. So we have two of these. We had designed modules. Here we are, that's modules. Okay, that's enough to power a 5x4 block of potions. And 5x4 produces 97 a minute. Yeah, 97 per minute, which is over our 90, which means we're shiny. Okay, so 
one job today is to work out how we would bring it, how the belts would look. So we're bringing in five belts here, bring in two from here, two from here, five from here. I feel dizzy. All right, another job is this needs rail to drop off iron and stone and copper, iron, stone and copper. This needs just iron and copper. This needs iron and stone. Then we need coal. Uh, coal is going to power these three. Uh, and then we need also to set up our refinery, which we designed in creative mode. And I'm thinking I'm going to put the refinery in this cell. Um, coal, I'm not sure about yet. I think maybe I'll put coal in this cell, take it out and around, out and around. Uh, so that would mean production science would be in the bottom half here. So I think we should start laying that out. Okay. And then we need a station to take the production science away again. So it's five by four. Okay. So let's do one of these. All right. So this is going to have a belt coming this way okay then the next one will have a belt coming this way and I'm wondering how compact this needs to be uh, then there would be a belt coming down with modules and a belt going up with um, rails. Okay, so each of these has three belts and an output. Something like that. Okay. So we can obviously move that closer. Um, all right. And then I'm beginning to think because we're doing all this stuff that we will need undergrounds. Is that four? Yeah, that's four. So then we'd need another one here to jump out four again. Okay, so that would work. Uh, then we'd have a, an input for rail. Now, for rail, how much do we need in terms of inserters? It, it might well be a fast inserter. Let's do this in basic inserters. All right, so it needs 0.45 of a basic inserter of rail. So that's actually fine. Then it needs the uh, furnaces. Okay. Then this is going to be hopping the other way. All right, then we have blocks of four. So I'm wondering where, where the output goes. I don't really want to take out five belts of product. So that means I think in practice, I'm taking the product out one side or the other. And then we'll feed, wrap that around, feed it into trains. All right, so this is looking like a pattern. Um, let's see if I can make four stamps. Okay, so that would be that's four, isn't it? Okay, that doesn't need to go on. Okay, 
So this needs to come in somewhere. There we are. So that's a line of four. Then this is input for And then we need an output for the potions. There we go. So this is the potions out. Um, then this is, and we'll need a, an inserter for that. Okay, then I think this one we will alternate, so we'll take this out that way. There. And this would be like that. Input there, there and there. So this is output, this is in output. So then we'll have another output like another output there. And then another output that way there. I think that's all right. So then can we duplicate this horizontally? So this. To there. Yep. Three, four. And we need a fifth one. Put, pick the whole thing up, move it over. Ah, we, we sort of have a big power pole in the way. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. So I think that is the design. All right, let's double check. So do I want to use undergrounds everywhere? And I think the answer is yes. So that's a that's an input. That's going the other way. We can cut that off. That's an output. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, this is an input. This is an output. There we go. Then this is an input. All right, let's work it from the other side. 
so Okay, and then that doesn't need to follow on. Then we can fix up this line as well. Good. And these are the outputs, so this needs to go out. Okay, so this is an input. There we are. Oh, sorry, this is the output. Let's get rid of this. Don't need that. This is an input. Nope. This is an output. This is an input. We'll get it right in a minute. Right. There. There, there, there. Okay, so that will remind me that these are outputs. Good. Then we'll do the same this side. All right, so we have, this is to the left, this is to the right. So we can pretty much take out that and copy this. Okay, then we need something for here, and that's a rightward that. Okay. Nothing here is powered. Um, I'm wondering about substations, actually. Uh, they may be the, the prettier option. So that's that output. That's that output. Right, we have some inputs here to deal with. Ah, am I out of undergrounds? Seems like it. What do I have too much of? Got plenty of splitters. Don't need blasting charges. All right, so let's request undergrounds. Oh, we've got 50 on the way, apparently. Right, so that's an input, that's an input. Yeah, and I think that's it. So this, I think, is our purple science layout. Now, how well can we do this with substations? We have an even odd problem here. Uh, because it's five by four, the center is in the middle of the build. Um, so I could do that. And I could do that. But then we'd also need which is a bit uneven. Um, maybe I don't care. Yeah, maybe I don't care if it's a bit uneven. All right, so then, um, uh, 
All right, we don't need this anymore. Good. So, this does mean there's no room for a station down here because we've made this all too close. Maybe one of the next things would be to design a station. Let's just have a look at power poles. If I did, if I power this up with poles instead, it could be done. It can't quite be done. It's like a square too big. All right, I think this is how we're going to do it. Um, have I got some things on the way? Hopefully. So it's the summer holidays, which means um, family holidays and things. So uh, I have not, basically, I'm not going to be around as much as I would normally be. So I am pre-recording things to make sure that they are available. Um, so yeah, that means I'm recording a, a few weeks in advance. Uh, whereas I'd normally record a few days in advance. Um, so apologies if you've been saying things and I've not been responding, but that's why. Okay, these two come out. Okay, and then we can wrap that around. So, uh, we need to fit a train station here to collect this loot. Um, or I could take it upwards and outwards, or I could take it all out one side. Um, but I think I prefer doing it like this. I'd rather load it into a train station down at the bottom. Uh, it kind of needs to go through a 4-4 splitter, doesn't it? Now I think about it. Okay, so I think maybe I am going to take this... What are... What are the things left? We need to put in a refinery. And the refinery should really go in this block, I think. Um, okay. Do we have the things to mock up a refinery? Yeah, we do. All right. So the refinery we designed the other day. So let's put down the parts and see how big they are. All right. So advanced oil. Um, short pipe, long pipe. There we are. Then uh, short pipe for the petroleum. For now, maybe there's a better way to do this. I don't know. Um, we don't really have throughput issues. It's it's a bit moot. Which one is the short and long? Uh, right. So other processes. We need some cracking. So we need to crack light oil into heavy oil. Let's put down one of these and set the recipe light to heavy. Um, and it's going to need two productivity modules. All right. So these are four. If we had it like that, they are four apart. So one option is to design this with these four apart. So if we put that closest, then we put this one, two, three, four apart. And then we could take this and it would just fit there. All right, let's 
complete that. There we go. Okay, so that's not horrendous. Um, and continuing with our water world aesthetic, uh, we're letting water show through the gaps. Okay, so that's all right so far. Uh, we'll get back to this next time because we're low on time. Um, till then, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.